What strikes you most of all when you arrive in China for the first time are the multitudes. One immense crowd of people that moves, lives, works, and cycles. For centuries, Chinese society has been closed within itself. But in the inquisitive, questioning, attentive eyes of the children who are becoming familiar with the world, it's possible to glimpse the China of tomorrow. For the Chinese, the day begins early, at dawn. It is the hour dedicated to the body, exercise, martial arts, Tai Chi. It is the hour in which every Chinaman and woman, whether Taoist, Buddhist or atheist, harmonize their very being with the forces of nature and the universe, in the spirit of the original primordial religion that they all share. It is these common substrate origins that often create a unique mixture of the two main religions, Taoism and Buddhism, as in this festival that we can call Budo Tao, that takes place in a temple where symbols and aspects of both religions live together. One billion, 200 million human beings, a quarter of the world's population, in an area of 9,546,000 square kilometers. To try and understand the sheer size and variety, we have decided to take a fragment as an example of the whole. Here, therefore, are the Hakka. Hakka means foreigner a migrant population that in the 8th century AD came down from the north and settled mainly in the southern provinces of Yangtze, Fujian and Guangdong. We came to one of the many collective housing projects in the district of Yongding. These are the only such housing projects of their kind in the world an unusually strong circular or square architectural design where up to seven or eight hundred people live without any form of hierarchy, sharing everything, including the same surname. It is no coincidence that the three Chinese revolutions of the last two hundred years began right here in this region, and that Mao's long march started on the planning tables of the hacker social organization. <laughs> Here, in this moment, there are only women, children, old people, and silence. The men, they tell us, are far away working in the city. Maybe the hacker are foreigners in the Cantonese dialect, as they were the last to come to these regions and were forced to establish themselves in the mountains, where they grow rice, tobacco, soya, and tea.
阿拉吹风沙，沙声过分起身，你们是否身上光彩华丽无边？穷的一生，他们的呀高明四方，彩礼家一彩礼家门。Up until three years ago, religious practices were forbidden, and Taoism, as is this ceremony, in particular. Perhaps for its ties to various forms of popular superstitions, the ceremony's characteristic secrecy can therefore be understood, and even today they take place mainly in private houses. Tao in Chinese means way or road. The search for the eternal harmony between the self and the natural order of the universe, between the microcosmic and the macrocosmic, between yin and yang, the male and the female. Taoism is the teaching that allows man to attune with a dynamic transmutation, with the harmony of nature. If you want to weaken, you must strengthen. If you want to dismantle, you must build. If you want to take, you must offer. So spoke Lao Tzu, the author of the Tao Te Ching. And in the Taoist ceremony, free from any divine pantheon, man continually searches for balance in the perpetual becoming. Avoiding the government restrictions that forbid any journalistic filming that they have not authorized, we manage to move among and meet the people, the craftsmen and the teachers, from the gold hunter to the priest, penetrating into the community of a thousand small gestures and rituals. These gestures, these rituals, these tools, all testimony to an ancient civilization that for us has become the subject of history books or an exhibit. In the Museum of Popular Traditions. The cult of the dead of the Hakka is of great interest because of its unique nature, as in the form of this funeral rite. It is believed that the spirit of the dead rests on the earth for 49 days, seven times seven. 
In this period, a paper house is built, full of objects that could be of use or pleasure for the deceased. These two are made from paper. On the 49th day, they are burned, and the mourning wail of the relatives rises with the smoke towards the heavens. The official position of the Communist Party is in favour of atheism, so there are no statistics for the number of followers of the individual religions. But Buddhism, which arrived from India in the first century AD, with its 150 million followers, seems to be the most widely practised of the religions. Welcome, welcome, cry the children of Kandin, waving paper flowers. Today is the celebration of the 1,257th anniversary of the founding of the first Hakka capital. It is an occasion for all the Hakka spread throughout the world, and in particular from Hong Kong and Taiwan, to return to their land of origin and invest the capital that will give this region the chance to launch on a program of modernization. across the shoulders, symbol of the precarious Taoist equilibrium, the other half of the heavens, the woman who must work both hard at home and in the fields and industries. It is one of the two fundamental elements upon which rests the modernization of China, the other half of the balance without which any project would be destined to fail. through the city streets, a voice reminding us that it is late and time to go to sleep. Tomorrow morning at dawn, to the accompaniment of music and apologies broadcast by the loudspeakers, the disciplined people will start their daily march once more.
it could save an ideal society. Or maybe not. <laughs> <laughs>